Okay, well, things are happening with uh, Hurricane Irma, where South Carolina is looking like a bigger target. And I went through Hugo in 89. For those that don't know, I was in Charleston when that Category 4 hurricane hit with 140, 145 mile an hour winds. And uh, I had nothing to lose because I was on the Navy base at that time. Let me hook this battery up. So then we'll fire it up. We're going to go ahead and top this thing off. It only had like eighth, an eighth of a tank in it. So I'm going to put 50 in case I need it, just in case. So, there we go. Reconnect my terminals, like uh, that. Uh, I need two hands here, hold on. All right, that's better. Let's see what we got. Yep, uh, talk more about the hurricane here in a bit. Uh, not connected right. All right, take two. Yeah, come on, stay running. Hasn't been running so long, it doesn't want to stay idling. Nope. Yeah, how about a cold start? That's exactly what it is. There my gird. Not really cold though, it's actually in the 70s. I need to get this thing idling. Yeah, so we're sitting below an eighth of a tank, so I'm going to probably put 50 in. Low wash fluid, I know. But, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and close the hood. There we go. So, there we go. Yeah, <sighs> not driven the truck in a while, so yeah, we'll take a trip to the gas station, fill it up, and then we'll bring it back. Park his piece of crap truck down here. Huh? Okay. Yeah, it'd be easier to drive around in a circle. Yeah, road's a little slick. That's good. Need to get some drive time on this thing anyway. Um, yeah, I was in Hugo, for those that don't know, in Charleston when I was in the Navy back in September of 89. So, uh, like there's a city truck again. But, uh, yeah, I had all my vehicles up here. And um, at the time, only had one vehicle. And I was uh, yeah, down there, so I had nothing to lose. I stayed on the barracks. And, uh, you know, then the 140, 145 mile an hour winds came uh, rolling in and then the storm surge came in like two or three in the morning after that and uh, yeah it was uh, quite an adventure honestly um, you know, going through a category four hurricane watching the eye pass over like a minute after midnight for 44 minutes I believe and uh, yeah, walking out and around, seeing the stars and all that. I mean, that was cool. I'd always studied hurricanes and, you know, I'd probably been a storm chaser if I'd have, um, you know, gotten my degree in meteorology or something. That's what I was really wanting to do. That's what I wanted to do when I went in the military was to be a meteorologist, but never got it. Never could, the rate was locked up, couldn't do it. And I'd have to go to another college to get my meteorology degree. And there's really not a lot of money in it overall, but, yeah, I just figured I'll just do this for a hobby and, uh, you know, study, continue studying the weather. But yeah, now I'm watching as Hurricane Irma is starting to become a little bit more like, uh, you know, a potential landfall for South Carolina. My parents were here when Hugo came rolling through and they said they had 90 
close to 100 mile an hour winds up in this direction and they were stuck on their road if you follow my videos that long road I take it took them five days for them to clear that road out because of all the downed trees and they were, they, they're the ones that told me look go ahead and just get your truck gassed up in case we need it because I may have to you know worse comes to worse may have to uh, um, you know go out there to move stuff or haul stuff or whatever and trucks will be coming in handy so yeah and I have not put gas in this thing in probably a year and a half to be quite honest um, yeah I have uh, well since before I went to Mexico in June of last year before my wife you know got sick so yeah this is it's been a while and now with gas it's basically shut up about 30 cents in the last week from Hurricane Harvey that hit around Houston and basically shut down the oil pipeline heading up in our direction here so yeah now the gas has gone up I mean literally went up like 30 cents in a week so before it gets up any higher and if it does come up this way then it, you know people are going to be running out of gas for sure because that's what was happening back when Hugo hit so yeah not going to take any chances you know I'm not there in Charleston anymore so you know now I've got a lot more at stake you know a house cars my mega shed so but yeah talking to my parents just like I said I basically got off the phone with them about 15 20 minutes ago and they're the ones that told me look just go ahead and gas it up even if you're not driving it just you know gas it up in case we need it so that's what I'm doing all right creeping along gas last time I checked it was still 249 so Dipper. Move on out of the way there, Dodge. And wait for traffic. Yep, still 249. Okay. Let's just circle on in here. Uh, let's see, what would be easy? I'll probably just drive around actually. How y'all doing? Gassing up? Preparing for the worst? Okay. Yeah, this will work perfect. Right on the end. I like this. So I can just get in and get out. Woo! Alright, let's gas this thing up. See what $50 gives me, or how many gallons I get. Okay. So you get $20 at 8 gallons. I have 10 gallons, so about 20 gallons I'll probably get. I'm going to show off my sticker, the Carolina Panther Palmetto sticker, my submarine sticker, 88 to 92 sticker, Ron John Surf Shop, boo, isn't this fun? Yeah, there's 40 at 16 gallons. Wow, 20.005. Oh, oh well. <laughs> okay, back in, let's see what we got. Full tank. Yep, all the way to the top. Okay, well, yeah, $50, 20 gallons. All right, we're topped off. Yep, best to go ahead and... Okay, I got this. Just in case things get bad here. So... All right, now we're topped off in gas. Yeah, I know I got low washer fluid. I'll take care of that. Okay, turn left, dude. Thank you very much. Ooh, this is kind of fun driving the old t ruck after a long time. Give it a little bit of road, road time. Of course, I haven't changed the oil in this thing in ages because it hasn't needed it. But it's 114. Yeah, we're we're not even close. We're still 113.5. So, yeah, rain's picking up. Beautiful. 
this isn't even part of the hurricane. This is just a front passing through. And change in the weather. Pitter patter rain. Well, how about that? All right, let's go there, Tennessee. Walking in the rain, always fun. Oh, this is beautiful. College girl waiting under an umbrella. Don't get splashed because these goofs around here will just slosh through the puddles. Like it ain't no big deal. Parking under the trees, big old truck. Yeah, I'm going to college, but I don't know where my nads are. They're probably hanging from the trailer hitch. <laughs> anyway, we'll continue to head on back to my place. Now that I've got gas pretty much ready for the effects of Hurricane Irma, they come this way, which all Everything seems to be pointing towards, uh, yeah, we're going to see some impacts by Sunday night into Monday. So, until the next thrilling video, adios.